Hey guys, this is Hamza and today we're gonna talk about living below your means. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how and why you should live below your means. Step number one, stop the decluttering cycle. Stop buying stuff that you don't need and that way you won't have to declutter every six months. I've visited a lot of homes where the garage has become a storage unit where people store things they never use or will use once a year. The problem only gets worse. The bigger the house, the more the clutter. Eventually, after a while, they'll be like, oh my god, we have so much stuff, time to declutter. And they go through this decluttering cycle. And the problem is that in six months, they forget and they go through the whole cycle all over again. Guys, stop buying so much stuff that you don't need. Step number two, justify your expenses. Now, when I say justify your expenses, there are expenses that you incur every month that you can't get around. That means maybe you have a new interview and you need to buy a new tie. That is justified. Or maybe you're going to a networking event and need to print a couple of business cards. That is also justified. Step number three, cook your own meals. Guys, I can't focus on this point enough. I have people in the office spending 10, 15, $20 a day on food that they could have easily cooked at home that would number one, be more healthy and number two, be way cheaper. Step number four, the memberships. You guys know where I'm going with this. I know far too many people who have far too many memberships and subscriptions they do not use. Get rid of them. Go through your bank statement, find out what it is you guys don't use and absolutely cut it off. If you're not, if you haven't used it in the last one month, guess what? You probably don't need it. Step number five, invest everything you save. Now that you guys have a little bit of cash set aside every month because you're living below your means, try to invest as much of it as you can. As the years go by, you will notice that that amount gets larger and larger. Eventually, what will end up happening is that with your passive income, you will now be able to afford things that you couldn't in the past. Good luck, guys, and start investing.